Quincy Jones was a titan in the music industry, leaving an incredible mark on popular culture. He was a composer, an arranger, a musician, and a producer, having influence on music that spanned throughout decades. He was born and raised in Chicago, and he started off his early career in jazz by playing the trumpet, where he quickly rose to fame and prominence by working with big names such as Duke Ellington. It's unfortunate to announce that today, November 4th, 2024, at the age of 91, Quincy Jones has passed away. And as you can see in this article, it says Quincy Jones, the music titan who worked with everyone from Frank Sinatra to Michael Jackson, passed away at 91. And that just shows you the range of what Quincy Jones had. And there's a lot of movies, there's a lot of songs that Quincy Jones either had his hands on or he influenced. And we're just gonna touch on some of that today and touch over some of the high points in his career and some of his accolades that are most memorable to you and I. Before we acknowledge Quincy Jones accolades, if you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And let's go ahead and jump into what Quincy Jones accomplished in the 91 years that he was here on earth and all the good times that he supplied you and I. We know how much of a musical legend Quincy Jones is, but since I review TV shows and movies, we'll start off with the cinematic maestro that he was composing scores that elevated some of the most iconic films and TV shows of all time. Now, one of them is my mother's personal favorite movie, The Color Purple, and the soulful melodies that Quincy Jones put in here and the jazzy rhythms. Hey, he did his thing with this. Me and you must never part. Quincy Jones, he actually did the soundtrack for The Color Purple, a Steven Spielberg film. Also, with his groundbreaking work on Roots, he reshaped television, proving the impact of a powerful score. Quincy Jones was a true visionary whose music continues to resonate throughout the ages, and he changed how we watch TV. When you're listening and watching these movies, and you're listening to the soundtrack behind it, Quincy Jones was instrumental in changing and reshaping everything we watch. Quincy Jones's name is synonymous with musical excellence, Throughout his extraordinary career, he's been adorned with countless accolades. He has a staggering 28 Grammy Awards, and he's a record-breaking force in the music industry. Not only that, all of his contributions to the arts have been recognized at the highest level, earning him a prestigious Kennedy Center Honors and National Medal of Arts. He's a true legend, and Quincy Jones continues to inspire generations. Now, let's get into some of the major artists some of the biggest artists of all time that Quincy Jones actually wrote for, composed, and just some of the things you may have not known Quincy had up his sleeve while he was here with us. It wouldn't be right if we didn't start off with the king of pop, Michael Jackson himself and Quincy Jones. Michael Jackson is probably the most known person in the world. It doesn't matter what language you speak, where you're from, when you're born, everyone knows who Michael Jackson gotta throw our boy Ray Charles in there Mr. Hit the Road Jack and don't you come back no more no more no more no more hit the road Jack and we can't forget about the queen of soul Miss Aretha Franklin now Quincy Jones has worked with some of the most amazing artists but their artistry wouldn't have went to the next level unless they linked up with Mr. Quincy Jones let me just say Quincy Jones is the true definition of he had a good run. Quincy Jones was amazing. He also produced Michael Jackson's Thriller, which turned out to be the best-selling album of all time with hits like Billie Jean and Beat It. Beat It! Quincy Jones' production reshaped pop music and set a new standard for albums. Him and Michael Jackson, they couldn't be stopped. You see Quincy Jones, you see Michael Jackson, just know it's gonna be Diamond. To the younger generation, they may not know the show Bel Air that we watched is reboot of the original Fresh Prince of Bel Air, which was executive produced by none other than Quincy Jones, who basically revived Will Smith's career after he went bankrupt, said, here, I have a show. You got one opportunity. You go downstairs, we pitch it. And well, Will Smith did his thing. And from there, his career and trajectory took off and he hasn't looked back since. Not to mention, we got one of the best theme songs for a TV show ever in West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playgrounds where I spend most of my days. 
Also in 1985, he brought together the biggest names in the music world to raise funds for Africa. The result was one of the most impactful charity singles ever. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones to make a brighter day. So let's start giving. With all the talk of Michael Jackson and him and Quincy Jones working together, well, let's not forget, he produced Michael Jackson's Off The Wall, which combined disco, pop, and funk. And don't stop till you get enough. This is what changed Michael Jackson for musical history and turned him into the king of pop. Quincy Jones, a true icon of the music industry, the man, the myth, the legend, he was a force of nature and a musical genius. He was the architect of the culture. He was a trailblazer, a music producer, and his legacy is etched in the fabric of all modern music. It's a testament of his boundless and creativity. We also mourn his loss today, but let us celebrate his extraordinary life and all the incredible things he's done and the mark that he left here on the world for us. Because his impact is immeasurable, and his influence will continue to inspire all of us throughout the next generations to come and the generations after that. Thank you, Quincy, for this music, the memories, and the magic that you left for all of us and all of the artists that you've touched, inspired, and helped. We all appreciate that. There'll never be another Quincy Jones. Not before, not after. Thank you. The first thing I would like to say is my condolences go out to the Jones family. Rest in peace to Quincy Jones. 91 years here on earth is a long time. If you can make it to 90 years, be grateful, be appreciative of it. And always make sure you do the most with your day because we see what Quincy Jones did. He did a lot in the time he was here, born in the 30s. And here we are November 4th, 2024. That life and all of the people that he inspired and worked with, man, he gave a lot of people careers and he was always about helping people out. So again, my condolences to the family. I'm Modi J. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you would like me to do more videos like this, let me know down below because we definitely can do that. But thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.